Hello, welcome to part one of two screencast videos for my web design and development portfolio class. My name is Cordell and I will be taking you through simple and basic C Sharp and JavaScript tutorials. C Sharp is a great programming language to learn and I'm here today to tell you the key differences between C Sharp and JavaScript and why personally in my opinion C Sharp would be a more valuable computer, computer coding language to learn first. So let's get started with some key differences between C Sharp and JavaScript. So first I'd like to start off by saying that one language is not necessarily better than the other. You're going to be learning the same structure, the same syntax if you learn one or the other. They both are object oriented languages while JavaScript is not class based, meaning that instead we would use functions rather than creating classes in C Sharp. And although C Sharp requires a browser plugin, JavaScript is also known to be harder to debug in the browser, which is why C Sharp is usually recommended by most developers. Languages such as C++ also have similarities in syntax to C Sharp because it is a C-based language. C Sharp continues to grow in popularity today thanks to Microsoft's Visual Studio and Xamarin. And Xamarin allows developers to develop across multiple platforms, which is very helpful for coding universally. And with taking all that in mind and, and into consideration, the truth of the matter, the fact is that learning more languages is better. It will look better on your resume and your portfolio, and you will have a lot more successful time looking for your careers. So right now, I'm going to show you some simple and really, really basic coding examples for C Sharp and JavaScript. And I'll point out the key differences, and I encourage you all to follow along if you are new to programming. Okay, so first we're going to be looking at our C Sharp code. And as you can see, I brought up Visual Studio on my virtual machine on my Mac, and we're going to create a new project. I'm just going to call this video demo. Make sure it's a C Sharp console application. I'm going to click OK. I guess I already made one called video demo. So we're going to call it demo video. <laughs> <clears throat> So as you can see, the first thing it's going to come up with is your main method. And the thing you got to know about C Sharp is your class declarations. So first, we have our class program, then we have our main static method. So what we're going to do here is very basic, very simple. We're going to do a console dot right line. And we're going to do my number. As a string. And then we're going to create a function. So let's call it my function. We're going to create the instance, and the constructor. And then we're going to come down here outside the main method and we're going to do a private static void my function. So inside the function, we're going to have our variables, my int, let's call it that, and we're going to set it equal to 5. So it's just a random int. And I'm going to do another one, my second int. And let's make it 6. All right, so now that we have declared our variables, we are going to create a new variable called my new int. And we're going to make my int multiplied by my second int. So it should be 5 times 6 right now. And when we want to write it to the console, all we have to do is console dot right line and we want to type in the string my new number is right now we're going to have it set 
So you can put my new int variable in there. And we'll set the zero index number to my new int number. So when we run this now, It's going to come up with my number, the first thing we put up here, console.write line, my number. My new number is 30. So 5 times 6 is 30. So it got us the right number. Perfect. So now I kind of showed you what the basic syntax of C -sharp will look like. And now we're going to head on over to WebStorm and do some JavaScript. And the JavaScript tutorial will be in the screencast video number two, which I will give you guys a link down below.